We all know about the awesome wood fire pizza at Gus Franco's in Lower Burl, but they also have some other offerings that are sure to make your mouth water just like these are doing to us right now. Love this because Patrick <laughs> Elson is back with a baking a scrumptious sandwich. Can't wait to try it. And also, I think for people who have a big Sunday dinner, if they're making yeah. lots of meatballs on Sunday, this is a great way to carry that over oh. through the week. That's what we do. Anyways. And we like easy. Yeah, right on. There's nothing more like homey than like having some meatballs just simmering on the oven anyway. Agreed. So, right. uh, we like to, uh, we have meatballs all the time at our shop. It's, a, it's our one and only hot side dish. But on Wednesday, I bake up some fresh rolls in a wood-fired oven, and, uh, and I make some meatball parm sandwiches for everybody. So we everybody. got fresh bread and fresh meatballs. Fresh bread and meatballs made in-house with local beef and pork and uh, you get an entire order of meatballs on the sandwich so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started Heather I was gonna ask you if you had any tricks because like I've seen some people scoop out bread but then you're wasting carbs oh my god I mean, a lot not. of times I will uh, I'll tamp down the bun to kind of keep it in there but I smush it like oh, when I'm done when it comes out of the <laughs> oven I'm a, I'm a smusher I'll take care of the smushing <laughs> Ooh, we, side we, of we, things we, and it will make it happen but uh, so I get that whole order of meatballs on there maybe a little bit of Sauce on top here. I'll add a little bit to finish. Uh, I got some fresh mozzarella. Put some of that right on there. That looks amazing. We got that going on. So at this point here, I'm going back into the oven with this. Okay. And uh, and, and it, we're going to melt all that cheese on there, and it's going to be beautiful. But uh, I took the time and made us up one. Oh. So I'm going to pull out the melty cheesy. I like ready to that go. Was, that was magic. Right? I mean, uh, hey, magic what, what they do. What are you going to do? And at this point, we'll take some nice fresh basil. We'll chiffonade that basil. I'll put it right on top of the sandwich for chiffonade. you to order. Chiffonade. Totally. We're, we're learning. <laughs> we're fancy here. Come yeah. <laughs> sprinkle that on and then do you have some that. hot honey too so i did bring the hot honey because that's it doesn't come with hot honey on it but that is my move that's that's, well, that's i never would that's think that's to add hot honey it's so good on the meatball it's good on pizza uh we do it on our hot dad pizza that we do all the time but hot dad pizza. but on this sandwich here it, uh, it, it, in my opinion, takes it to a whole other level. Well, and again, if you're repurposing some stuff at home, right. this is a great way just to like zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm a big zhuzh. This is the biggest zhuzh I've ever seen. Never seen such a beautiful sandwich. Yeah, right. well, thank you. Thank no you problem. very much. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, I, I do the old smush, smush get it in there, and then you let the knife do the work. Look at that. That looks incredible. Like butter. We're like going to bite into this and give it a try. And while we do, can yeah. you talk to us about your bread making? Because some people are a little intimidated about making bread. But sure, absolutely. So I actually make my bread. I do everything I can out of one dough recipe. Uh, so I use the same dough. Yeah, I got some napkins here for you, so don't be afraid. Oh, unnecessary. To hop in there. Um, I use the same dough for two different pizza styles. I use it to make the rolls, uh, just doing different fermentation times, letting it proof a little bit longer in some cases. But I'm able to take the same dough that I make for pizza and turn it into either a roll or a different style pizza. I was just going to say, all the reasons that you love wood fire pizza are encompassed in that bread. Yeah, you it's get the, the nice crunch of it. It just is delicious. And it tastes like pizza dough without being pizza dough right yeah which is so good awesome um you're part of the pizza passport we yeah a segment talking about oh. that yeah it uh super honored to be a part of the pizza passport uh for the last two years Hal Klein has named us part of the 12 uh better pizzerias in mm. Pittsburgh and uh we're super honored to do that and then they came and I there's no way I could say no to that getting people out to Lower Borough I know we're a little bit of a hike up route 28 uh but hopefully it's going to be worth it come up have a slice if you want to get a pie to take with you be happy to do that as well while you're in town so there's a lot to see and do up there mm, there so. is and 28 now that it's done is very easy to travel up to <laughs> yeah. my in-laws my husband are all from lower burl it is so worth the trip and you can just zip through we should mention too you said you have meatballs all the time but the sandwiches are only offered what days as of right now they're only offered on wednesdays oh, okay. i uh, i'm trying to work it into where Ooh. we're a small little family owned shop so we do what we can with the time that we have i'm trying to make it a daily thing and hopefully doing this is gonna uh, uh, inspire people to to keep calling and make it uh, make me force my hand a little bit. There into, you go. Uh, make the trip into doing it. Yeah. Listen, if you have leftover meatballs and you're making this tonight, don't skip the hot honey. Don't Ooh, sleep on uh, it. Agreed. That get, is so good. That is so good. We and sell perfect. this at the shop if you need some, but you can find it just about anywhere these days. But. Uh,
It's amazing. It's so good. So it's good incredible. to have you back on, Gus. Thank you. And if you want to try this meatball parm sandwich or some delicious pizza, head over to Gus Franco's on Leechburg Road in Lower Borough. Get that passport stamp, too, while you're at it. We'll have more information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.